Hey, gang, we are joined now by Jenny Fuse, and Jenny just won the gold medal at the U.S. Olympic Boxing Trials. Congratulations, Jenny. Thank you, Matt. Oh, okay, now, Jenny Fuse from Kima uh -huh. beat Marlon Esparza from Galena Park for the gold medal. How crazy is that? You two girls, the best women flyweight fighters in the country from the Houston area. Right, right. How yeah. crazy is that? Uh, it's, it's rare, very rare <laughs> that two people come on, coming from the same city are the top in the nation. But you had worked so hard to yes. get this. Congratulations. This, what a thrill. Thank you. Thank you. So what lies ahead now? You don't automatically get into the Olympic Games. No. Um, well, before I go qualify for the Olympic Games, I'm going to an um, Olympic test event in Rio in December. But the next qualifier is in March, and it's in Argentina. It's the Women's Continental Games. So I have to win that. If I don't win that, I get one more chance at the Worlds in May, which I believe are in Kazakhstan. They're still debating. Um, and I have to place in the top four. And then I qualify and, and make it to the Olympic Games. Now, due to copyright laws, we were unable to get any video oh, yeah. of your fights at the Olympic trials. But last, well, last year uh, you fought Marlene, and then in January you fought Marlene. Mm -hmm. You've had some tough fights with her previously. Yeah, I fought her five times before this, and none of them have gone my way. They've been very close, you know, a little controversial, but she's always got the win. And then, you know, I, I beat her twice in one week when it matters at the Olympic trials. So. It's an amazing feeling. <laughs> <laughs> Marlon won the bronze the first year the women were ever boxing in the Olympic trials or, or in the Olympics. And now she says, well, it was political that she lost. Well, like I, this is Olympic trials and it's a double elimination tournament. So you really can't win this on a fluke. So, I mean, that's her opinion. And I can understand why, you know, she might be a little frustrated, but, you know, it's fair. It was a fair game. Yeah. She was complimentary of you, said you're a nice person. Yes. You, she thought you would have a tough time on the international scene. Do you think you will? I don't think I will. I mean, yes, I don't have as much experience in the international field as she does, but the times I have gone, I've pretty much dominated. I've only, and Bulgaria was the only time I didn't win the whole tournament, but I came in bronze, and then I actually almost uh, beat the girl who won it. I lost by split, split decision, but it could have really gone either way. So I don't think I'm going to have trouble. And what was the secret to doing it this time, to getting over that hump and making it and winning gold medal at the trials? Well, my coach and I, we had a game plan, and whoever was in front of me was pretty much the same game plan game plan to stay aggressive use my jab a lot keep my space don't get too anxious if the other, if my opponent gets off you know a good couple of punches mm -hmm. stay calm and stay relaxed and i did that and i listened to my coach and it you know it worked and i won so now jenny is left-handed so it was a left-hand jab and then this or with a right-hand jab and then right hand jab and then a straight and, and i'm actually yeah, i fight softball but i'm actually a right-handed person a lot of people don't know that mm -hmm. well there you go there's something else <laughs> you're ambidextrous all right right congratulations thanks so much for stopping by of course thank you for having me Matt. there she is the gold medalist jenny fuchs and hopefully bound for the olympics